Hello, hi, and hello subscribers. <clears throat> there you go. And to those who have ordered the Mesogi Gorias Double Dye Tulip. I'm not sure if a lot of you have seen or know about this flower before, but I just love this double dye Dutch tulip. Look at that, those details. If you're on Instagram a lot, you've probably seen it. I've decided to make, we already have one. Um, dye Dutch tulip florist style, I believe it's called, but it's blue. This one is yellow, and I'm gonna try to do it a much easier way, but still, this is for those who like to color on templates, and it does not come with leaves. So let's start. I'm just going to show you one template and what I've done to it. There you go. First, color the template. Hold on, peeps. We get a brush and clean it up. There you go. So I'm using watercolor paint from Tainan. I'm just gonna, this is sketching paper, best for this flower. And I'm just gonna color it like that. So lay out all the templates, color it. And here you don't have to wait until the one side is dry. You can do it immediately. And why is this sketching paper? It's because it lets the sunlight, natural light shine through, which will create a very lifelike effect. So color all your templates like that. Easy peasy, right? Nothing to it. And then put it aside and let it dry. You might wanna check it out. Yeah. And let it dry. Oh chips. Now we have the stamen for each. Get one wire, one floral wire, and a hobby tweezer. Um, should be here somewhere. There you go. You can use cardstock for this one yellow. I just used white. Um, and then also painted it yellow, just one side, as you can see. Here you go. This is not sketching paper, this is called ton papier. And then we're just gonna use our embossing uh, hobby tweezer and fold the templates, just like this. Right? And then placing my hobby tweezer again on the stamen itself, half of it. And then fold it. Just like that half fold fold if you can't do this what you also could do is get a your bamboo skewer and place it on there are five right four I still think that the hobby tweezer is better though because it's so small just place it half and we just fold it basically There. And then again we bend there. Very, very tiny. I might have to zoom in. Let me do that again. It was very small. But sometimes I see. so we have this template. Okay? Place it there and fold half. Fold it it then you get this right it's kind of a rice green now open it up again place your hobby tweezer on half of the um sepal itself and then fold it this time towards you not backwards but towards you to create the shape there and then again fold it back that's it very easy 
Now get a floral tape and cover the wire with tape. Just like that. <clears throat> there you go. There. And your glue. Bamboo skewer, apply glue there, and then wrap it around. It's a lot of glue, though. Make sure that the two templates connect. Cover your fingers if there's like glue. You want O oh, chips? You want that one? That Templates good for only don't get anxious people. Okay, there and then just gonna reshape them. Make sure that the tip is closed. Thing of that. Now close, try to close the tip though. Do that for all how many we have? All six of them. And once you've done that, get floral tape again. of stamens together one why is this one so small oh no we have five one two three four five i don't know why i have four one two three four five. Oh, chips that's the wrong one oh i'll just use this tutorial then <laughs> um yeah they are bigger <laughs> this is Oh, I got the wrong one. I got it from the um, wild tulips. Oops. Oh well. Well, they're bigger than. Look, this is one that we made, which is obviously smaller. But this is for the wild tulip. But the assembling is the same. Okay. So when you have watching the wild tulip, you only need one. Okay, for the Double dyed tulip. You need five. Okay. Yep. That's just what we're gonna do. Now combine them together. So sorry.
Now one's combined. Let me zoom out now, because you or else you guys can't see. Just gonna separate them a bit. Only do this when they're dry, though. Don't do this when the templates are not dry, because you might break it. Just gonna separate them a bit. Only do this when the glue is dry. And look like this bit, right? There you go, that's that. Now I have to wait for my template to dry. This one, sweat. So, yeah, just gonna post it here and I'll be back when it's dry. Up to the next flower. The well, toilet. See you there. Uh, see you in a bit. So, welcome back. The battery is almost empty. Template is dry. And now I'm just going to get a pen. Uh, orange. So, I'm going to zoom in. I hope you guys can see. If not, I have to draw it out. I think. So, I'm going to use orange. Um, I'm just going to use yellow and orange because of the um, arrangement that I'm making. But this flower came comes in then many colors in like green, orange, um, purple, white and brown even, lilac, um, yellow, light, yellow even more lighter than this one. So yeah, um, but again for the sole arrangement, I'm just using this color. So. I'm going to create an eye by using my pen. And don't worry, you don't have to be an artist for this. Can you guys see? Oh, you can see it. So this is what we do for all the time. I'm just going to show you one. Just going to do this. You can do that for all the others. Okay, battery is empty. So. Okay. Can I zoom in more? Hopefully, yes. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna create in that. Okay. Yes. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect for this. For a perfectionist, now oh, this is a perfect practice to just let it go. Make it a bow though. I really want it to be a bow. An arch. Very lightly. <clears throat> you don't have to um very lightly, as you can see. Okay. Now we're gonna stick to that and same arch that I'm gonna crow add another one. Just underneath it or above it. Multiply them. You see? Okay, and if there's still space as you can see, I'm just gonna draw one in between. Wherever there is space. Very, very easy. And do that for all the templates. So I'm just going to do it differently here. As you can see, there is one. And then there's space. I'll add two. Maybe one. In between. There are many ways to do this. Again, I'm using orange, but really depends on what color the flower is you're making. I think the hardest one is when you're using orange and then you have to use yellow lines. That's that's hard. It's 
So this whole arrangement will be about using mixed media, all sorts of paper and cardstock. introduce you to sketching paper and for the center the eye just gonna create two lines oops two lines one two maybe three depends on how it works out for you that's it and do that same thing for the back yes we do now I'm just gonna do this really fast without explaining because well I already explained it. So I'm just gonna do it real fast without thinking. I want an arch more. Sometimes I don't do arches, but I really want it to be an arch. <clears throat> Next, I do it upside down. Yeah, that's better. And don't know why it is better, but somehow I managed to create an arch. Or both. Rather than straight lines. very peaceful i find it very um get hypnotized when doing this and then i can just disappear in my own mind or just clear my mind i don't think about anything at all just looking at what i'm doing creating those lines so relaxing Lines in the center. That's it. Now we're gonna get our embossing tool after doing all that, and we're just gonna follow the shape of the petals like that, like, like up and down movement. Turn it around, do the same thing, and this will be the top. But this time, just the petal. Oh, it's too big. I'm sorry. I need to zoom out because I'm disappearing now off screen. Sorry about that. There. Okay. Give your both into lift those templates up. prepare your second one. Same thing as we did with the previous one. And just push it down. 
too. I also prepared this one already, so I'm just going to show you one. Exactly the same way. But this time we're not... So what I did here, and I forgot to show you, is actually fold the templates just like this. Follow the shape, the cuts of the templates, and you'll manage to do this. And then flatten them out again a bit. Towards you. Okay. And then stretch them. Kind of cut stair the top. Skewer. Templates for this one. I'm just gonna fold one like that, second one like this, third one like that, so like fourth like that, just randomly. up a bit. And this one's going to stay. Um, turn it around. Flip it again. Just the center, okay? Make it round. And then we have those circles, um, which I forgot, how many we have, three, we need three of those, those are painted right yet, I haven't cut them yet, so let me cut them now, be right So, I just finally cut them, so we have three of those. I've colored down one side, first one, uh, just two. You can also just color two. It's okay, but I did color three of them. Like this, and then the last one goes ups and down. There, you see it's yellow. This goes at the bottom. And that's it, my friends. Now we are gonna heat up. I'm gonna use glue gun so it stays immediately. I think. Hmm. Uh, no, I might not do that. I don't want to do that. So, get your glue. Tapping glue. the first thing here if your the hole is a bit smaller it's okay it will grow bigger by itself you can make it bigger but I think this is just fine the hole is small so I might have to use 
smaller wires, guys. Yeah, definitely. Okay, wrong wires. I'll make sure you'll get the right wires. Oh, actually, it does work. Although the hole really almost got ripped. The template. But actually, it works fine. Just fine. Look up. Got bigger, almost ripped, but luckily it didn't. I'm gonna apply glue there. So I'm just gonna have to show you different kind of wire. Smaller than this one. 0 0.6, I think, is best. <clears throat> Attach the first template. There go. I'm not sure if I've said this already, but if you're not a member yet of the Masuga Goya group, please consider joining us. You may share your creations here for the monthly freebie or for fun. And, um, yeah. Follow my Facebook page. And, um, thank you so much. Next, offs offset, offset. And when you have Facebook and a member of other groups, please consider joining um our uh what do you call that uh please consider sharing your creations in other groups as well and help our community grow i really would appreciate it so 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 much thank you our next layer next circle to keep those template up again i hope it doesn't rip <laughs> but so far so good Try to be careful. So push it up to template stays up, right? So it doesn't fall. Don't need to apply glue. Shape it. Or maybe actually the template is okay. The size. But I'm not sure though. I just might might make a bigger hole for you guys. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. This hole should be, seems to be fine. Yeah, I think, yeah, I think I just do that. Make the hole a bit bigger. There you go. Next. There. Like blue. Again, no leaves for this one. Because I don't want to have this leaves. I think it's beautiful without sometimes it's just pretty I'm gonna try to detach this one offset okay I can see that action I didn't And I see that actually I didn't even do this uh, made lines at the back here, at this bottom of this template. So, yeah. Just this one. I don't know, I forgot. I don't know. Or maybe I just decided not to because it's the last template, anyways. So, this is the flower. <clears throat> just gonna make sure that we hide those templates there. Open them up a bit, pull back the last template, open up the second one a bit more and make it more look fluffy. And there you go. Double dyed tulip. Okay, make sure that you don't see that thingy thingy there, okay? Hide it. So by pulling back the template, so you can hide it. There. There you go. It's a beauty. 
So I'm making two. I made two. So as you can see, I've used a bigger, smaller wire here, but I prefer this one because it's more realistic, having a thicker stem rather than the small one here. So yeah, but I'll leave it up to you. I think it shouldn't rip. It might. It didn't rip completely. It ripped, but not all the way. And if it does, you can still attach it by just wrapping it around wire. Anyways, I'll do one point. I think I'll just keep the wire as I use. So again, thank you and good luck. Have fun. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Follow me on Instagram. Tag me there if you don't have Facebook. Please, we would love to see your creations and you got this from Etsy, please consider heading back there and leave a review. I really would appreciate that. Also, subscribers, if you haven't yet, um, download the PDF uh, message to the buyer document and um, you can leave a review that way. Thank you again so, so much. And um, yeah, when done making all the flowers for the soil arrangement, and there's a different link for doing the arrangement itself. Maybe I'll just do it pictorial. I'm not sure yet how I'm gonna do it. I think pictorial is the best <clears throat> and neater. So yeah, leave it there. Ciao, good luck, have fun.